Welcome to the Novi Simulator Operation Training. The Novi Simulator is a service tool used to simulate fetal heart rate, maternal heart rate, and uterine activity signals. In this training, we'll cover everything you need to know to use your Novi Simulator effectively, to troubleshoot, as well as demonstrate monitoring on the Novi Wireless Patch System, including how to operate the simulator to help guide your troubleshooting decisions, as well as how to properly clean the simulator. This training can be used on any version of the standalone Novi Wireless Patch System with Corometrics. The Novi Simulator, with its different modes and features, is used to help troubleshoot Novi Pods by simulating maternal heart rate, fetal heart rate, and uterine activity signals in order to rule out pod malfunction concerns. At the top of the simulator is the power switch, which will turn the device on and off, like this. Also, it contains an audio jack, which is for authorized personnel only. The front of the simulator has a blue mode selection button. Pressing this button will select a mode setting. You can choose between constant, pattern, and demo mode. Each mode is indicated with a light. Let's see that again. Constant, which is noted by a flat line symbol and is the default mode. By pressing, we'll move to pattern mode, which is noted by the sawtooth line. And last is demo mode. We'll cover each of these in more detail later. Next to the mode selection button is a low battery indicator, which will flash to indicate that the battery is critically low. This is a Novi Simulator pod clip. It magnetically holds the Novi pod in the correct position. Do not use it with any other pod. The pod fits into the clip, like this. Right below the simulator pod clip are the electrode disconnection buttons. Electro disconnection buttons in demo mode lets you simulate the electrode disconnection of the Novi wireless patch system. On the back side is the battery compartment, which has two AA alkaline batteries for powering the Novi simulator. Now that we are acquainted with the Novi simulator, let's cover how to use it. Press the power switch to turn the device on. As you can see, all LED indicators come on, followed by a beep. The constant mode is activated by default. Before we go further, make sure the battery indicator does not flash in fast intervals. If the battery indicator is flashing, replace the battery. Make sure the Novi Wireless Patch System in the Corometrics 259CX or 174 are installed. Check the pod for cracks, chips, label damage, and pin damage. All the gold pins must be the same length and the pins must not be bent or missing. If you see damage, do not use the pod and contact technical support. Make sure the constant mode is active by default. If not, there may be an issue with your simulator. Contact technical support. Now you're ready to start simulating. The Novi simulator lets you simulate in three different modes. Constant mode, which is also the default mode, lets you simulate maternal heart rate, fetal heart rate, and uterine activity signals at constant values, which is a maternal heart rate of 70, plus or minus three beats per minute, fetal heart rate of 120, plus or minus three beats per minute, and uterine activity of zero to 50 plus or minus 10. Similarly, the variable mode simulates maternal heart rate, fetal heart rate, and uterine activity signals but at changing rather than constant values in a sawtooth pattern. It shows a maternal heart rate of 80 to 100, plus or minus three beats per minute, fetal heart rate at 120 to 160, plus or minus three beats per minute, and a uterine activity of zero to 50 plus or minus 10. And last is demo mode, which simulates maternal heart rate, fetal heart rate, and uterine activity signals as well. But for this mode, in a typical labor scenario pattern, this can be used to demonstrate the Novi wireless patch system. Let's try a simulation. First, make sure your Novi interface and Coral metrics are connected. Then select the variable mode indicator. Check the light indicator to confirm it has been selected. Take a charged pod from the Novi interface and place it in the simulator pod clip. Wait for the Novi monitoring to start. Be patient.
When monitoring starts, the fetal heart rate quality indicator turns green. In the fetal heart rate, maternal heart rate, and uterine activity values are displayed on the Corometrics display screen. If recording is on, the trace will print on the strip chart paper. Simply compare the printed trace with the sample trace provided in the Novi Simulator user manual. If the values are out of range or do not align, it is an indicator that the Novi system is having some trouble. In such cases, refer to the Novi Technical Troubleshooting QRG and contact technical support. To change mode to constant and restart the monitoring session, remove the pod from the simulator and put it back on the interface charging bay. Then change the mode. And once the battery indicator appears on the Novi screen, put the pod back in the simulator pod clip to start a new simulation. Once the fetal heart rate quality indicator turns green, the device is now in constant mode, and the strip can be compared as well. We will now show demo mode. Restart the simulator again by placing the pod back on the interface. Change the mode to Demo. And then replace the pod on the simulator pod clip once the battery indicator appears on the Novi screen. This mode is ideal for demonstrating Novi. By pressing and holding the electrode disconnection buttons, you can simulate the electrode disconnection of the Novi wireless system. Simply press and hold to see the Novi screen change to show the disconnected electrode. This is similar to what users will see in clinical use when a Novi patch electrode has lost connection to the patient. How to clean the Novi simulator. Start by getting together all the needed tools. First, validated cleaning and disinfection solutions include Cavicide or Cava wipes. These can be used on all parts as a cleaning solution. You will also need disposable gloves. Make sure the power switch is off. Spray the cleaning Cavicide solution onto a clean, disposable, lint-free cloth or use a cleaning wipe. Wipe all the parts of the frame with a wipe. Make sure as you wipe, the Cavicide touches all sides and parts of the frame. Wipe all surfaces until they are visibly clean. Discard the cloths or wipes once used. Thank you for learning more about the Novi Simulator. If you need additional assistance, please contact your local representative. Thank you for using the Novi Wireless Patch System.